first of all, thanks very much for giving me the opportunity to have a chat on Makers Monday and put a little bit of insight behind me. I'm Steve Hay, Woodworking Masterclass. I would define myself as a knock-around bloke that enjoys making things, being creative and learning new skills. As far as if I'm a designer, a maker, an artist, a filmmaker, a YouTuber, I, I don't know, that's for someone else to define me how they would like to define me, but I would define me just as a run the bell, knock around bloke that enjoys doing stuff. The latest piece I've made, I honestly couldn't tell you. Uh, I work on about six or seven projects at a time, and with me, the joy is in the making. Once it's been made, that's it, hit the delete button, I forgot it. And it's true, As a matter of fact, true story. I went to uh, someone's place for dinner one night with my wife, and when I walked in, there was this gorgeous cabinet in the front hallway, and through the second bottle of wine, I think it was, the chap, said to me, oh, did you notice you got pride of place? I said, what do you mean pride of place? He said, that cabinet. I see, I noticed that when I came in. It's gorgeous, isn't it? He said, you made it three years ago. I said, <laughs> couldn't remember making it. And I've had people come to me, oh, can you fix it? Gee, that's nice. Yeah, well, you made it. Oh, did I? Oh. So, yeah, I guess I, I couldn't tell you what I made because I just forget them. As soon as they're finished, boom, it's a clean sheet of paper and I'm onto something else. My favourite tool, without hesitation, is this one here. It's a moving filister, an H&T Gordon, handmade, made out of gidgey and brass, and it is an absolute joy to use. It's got a nice lot of weight to it, it's sharp. It really gets me in contact with the work that I'm working with and makes a lovely sound when it does a shaving. So that's an easy one, that's my, my favourite tool in the shed. Not my most used tool, but definitely my favourite. The best project I've made, that's easy, that's the one I haven't made yet. And it's still in my mind, because they're perfect. Whatever's in your mind eye works. It's not until you come down to the bench, pick up a saw or a hammer or a plane or a chisel, that you realise this perfect project isn't going to work out. So, yeah. That's the best one I've made, the one I haven't made. Uh, the biggest one I've made would be a conference table that sat, sat 70 people. Uh, the most notable things I've made are altars for cathedrals around Australia. Uh, I did about 12 years of ecclesiastic work, which I thoroughly enjoyed. There was processional candles and credence tables, lecterns, flower stands, um, nave altars, Restoration work, yeah, that was a great period of, of my life and I learned a lot doing that. The skill I'd like to learn, the skill I'd like to learn in the future is to remember what I've forgotten and perfect it. Um, because you, you do so many things, you forget these little nuances you've picked up. If I did a set of five dovetails, every week for six weeks, I can guarantee you I would do them a different way every time. Because you just, you forget the processes. You know what the end result is and you know how to get there. But there are certain things that, yeah, I'd like to remember and refine. My favorite discipline within the whole woodworking, furniture making arena is marketry. So I guess I'd like to perfect marketry. And there are several ways of doing marketry. And I, want to really get more familiar with each of those ways. So that's it, I, I suppose I'm just going to do boxes and I'm going to cover them in marquetry because they're small, they're fun to do and you don't have to have a great amount of storage place to hide a box. So there you go, once again, thanks for having me on Makers Monday. So in a nutshell, I'm Steve Hay, knock around bloke, can't rem remember what he made last. Best tool is a moving filter from H&T Gordon. And the best piece I've made, I haven't made yet because it's perfect in my mind's eye, and I'd like to perfect what I've forgotten.
So there you go. Thanks once again for having me on Makers Monday. If you like, check me out on YouTube, Woodworking Masterclass, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.